Welcome back. With many of us wearing face masks these days that cover up our mouths, our nose, our chins, it's even harder to read someone's emotions. And all that's left, of course, is a person's eyes. So how can you really read someone's facial expressions when all you can see is the whites of their eyes? We've got body language expert Susan Constantine joining us live this morning to break it down for us. Hi, Susan. How are you? Good morning, Amy. Good to see you. All right, so this is one of those <laughs> things that we're all challenged with these days, right? We go into a store, right, and you, uh, you're you trying to social distance and you bump into someone and they're making an eye at you, right? And you're like, are they giving me the stink eye? What's going on here? <laughs> change the way we perceive people and look at people and interact with them. Exactly. And not only that, about 50% of us are right at it, which is even more alarming. So we're at, as good as, you know, reading people as flipping a coin. So it's really important to know how to really read the signals and read eyes. And it's all right there, right there on your face. Okay. So what is it that we should be looking at when we're looking at someone's eyes and, you know, at six feet distance, of course. Well, the most important thing is, is are they making direct eye contact with you? Are they averting their eyes? Are they looking down? You know, if they're looking down, they don't want to be bothered. If they're averting eyes, they may be a uh, type of person that doesn't like social engagement. Um, someone that's actually making genuine eye contact with you is saying, I'm inviting you in. Um, you can notice if somebody's eyes are more strained and stressed. So that it might be a person that's fearful or panicked. So a lot of, uh, you know, there's, there's uh, muscles all around our face and there's certain muscles that fire during specific emotions and that's what I'd like to break down for you today. Okay so we're actually going to show you we've all taken pictures with our masks on and we're going to show you some of those pictures and you can tell us what you're seeing here. Okay so here is Danielle she's got her uh, her American flag mask on what are you seeing? <laughs> All right, what, what, you, what you see here is a combination of fear and surprise. If you look at her eyes closely, you'll notice just on the tip of her eye, there is a white spot. So that's what we call the four corner whites. That's a fear response. The other thing is that I'm noticing is her eyes are very fixed. I mean, they're plastered. The only other thing is why I'm saying that it's, it's also surprise is because her eyebrows, her eyelids are lifted. So when you see this lifted expression, that is also surprise. So this is what we call a cluster gesture. They, two of them can become very confused if you're not seeing below the eyes. Okay, all right, I got you. All right, so let's check out Jamie here. What is going on with Jamie? This is something we try to figure out almost every day, by the way. <laughs> Contempt. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jamie. Contempt. That's what we're looking at. Okay, so if you can see, if you notice the one corner eyebrow lifts up, yeah, it's kind of like that critical eye. He's Let me think us, about it. He's totally being judgy right here. He's really being judgy. That's contempt. <laughs> uh, I, do I busted you. What's on your mask? It's really. Oh, it's cute. That's cute. Yeah. So, so under under the mask, what you'll see is uh, it, it's a unilateral movement. In other words, you'll notice that one corner of the eye will go up. Um, they may pull on one side of the eye. You might notice their mouth will be smirked to one side or the other. So that's kind of like what we call, more, I mean, I'm sorry, Jerry, moral superiority, you know, more than everybody else. And, <laughs> and so when you're listening to somebody else, you're going, no, that's not right. I've got what it's right. So it's a way to reward themselves and it leaks out in a contempt facial expression. All right, Susan. All right. So we spent way too much time on Jamie. We have three more. We got to get through them in just okay. 30 seconds. Here's Bob. Yeah, Bob, I'm so sorry you're having a bad day. Um, this is <laughs> this is anger. You can <laughs> you can see the pinched eyebrows and that some is very intense, you know, something strong on their mind and you can see the eyes of some worry there too. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, but that is uh, anger but also worry. Okay, and here's Ryan. All right, Ryan um, is it's interesting because when I looked at this one, you can see that his his cheeks are raised here. So that would normally be seen in a smile, but that's also what we see sometimes when somebody is feeling disgust oh. like this, like, oh, yeah. you know, when they lift their, uh, their cheeks up and it narrows their eyes, yeah. but his eyes are bright. So, you know, these are not authentic emotions. What I'm seeing is not actually feeling he's faking them right now for this program. So this is kind of a, a mixture of, he's really trying to pull off 
probably a smirk, but at this point, what I'm seeing is a disgust, a a disgust gesture. Because Jamie actually put fish in the microwave yesterday at the station, and that's when Ryan took that picture, so. I, I think it was. Yeah, oh, there you go. It could have been just. <laughs> okay, and last but not least, here's me. Well, you know, you're always such a, a, a ray of sunshine. Oh, so I even you're that. wearing, <laughs> you're wearing yellow, you have bright eyes, your your eyes are very warm. You're the type of person that with just seeing your eyes, you're going to instantly walk up to them and you feel like you, you've known them for a long time. So you have a very friendly way about you. So this is what we call genuine happiness. Oh, you're joy. So sweet, Susan. I tell you, I, whenever I'm in the grocery store, I, I still feel the need to smile at people, even though I have a mask on and they always look at me like I'm crazy. So, you know, we just do the best we can. Yeah, and that's a very good point because uh, the other day when I was at Costco, um, I smiled at someone underneath the mask and I could see their genuine expression, which was smiling back Aww. underneath the mask. That's yeah, sweet. That's what we like to yeah. see. Susan, always great to have you. <laughs> Body language expert Susan Constantine, thanks for joining us. My pleasure. All right.